Hey guys, welcome back to Central Coast Creations. We are getting ready to do another batch of a pretty popular soap that we've been um, making. And this one's, what is this one, honey? Honey, oat, and milk. All right. So, so basically this soap has been just selling out, selling like crazy, so we're kind of having to keep making it. So what we did is we've got our, our lye solution of sodium um, hydroxide mixed with honey um, oat milk but you can see the color it makes it and it makes it kind of thick um, at, at first I worried about that um, but I made a, a you know several several bars so probably 25 or 30 bars of it and it came out really nice even though the lies real thick so what we'll do is like we've done on the, in the past we will be pouring our lye into the waters that we already had or into the oils that we've already got measured out and uh, like I always do, I pour it down the stick blender uh, to make sure we keep the, the air bubbles out. But uh, we'll get it in there. We'll start, we'll start mixing it and we're gonna try to get to a pretty light trace today. And we talked about trace and that's when it starts to thicken up and uh, it starts the saponification process where soap, you know, it, it becomes soap. Um, it breaks down the molecules of the oil and it becomes a different, uh, a different fabric. So we're gonna try to keep it pretty light so it doesn't thicken up on us. Um, this one's kind of tricky because sometimes this, this oat milk thickens up quicker than we want it to and it's hard to pour. But we're gonna keep an eye on it and try to get that done. Um, and we'll come back as soon as we've got this in trace. Okay, so you can see uh, we're, we're getting to trace. You can see the little lines that are that come up when you put your uh, stick blender out and you it follows the trace. So it's thickening up just like we want. We don't want to get it too thick because we want it to pour easy. And while you were away, we, uh, we added our honey. Um, we added honey and uh, oh, we ground up oats, um, actual whole oats. And so uh, we put those in here as well and that's gonna also quicken the the uh, thickening process so we need to kind of move a little quicker than normal with this so uh, we'll get all that out of there and <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to pour these in our three different colors so we've got a kind of a, a I don't know a copper gold color that's going to give it a little bit different type of color we have white which is the titanium dioxide and then we're going to keep this color because it's kind of a cool color so um, we'll get that poured in here and uh, I'll pour these with the colors and we'll stir those up. And we'll get right back to you after we're all done stirring up the colors. Okay, so we've got our colors mixed. You can see the three different colors that we're gonna use. We've kind of got a, a honey color because this is a honey milk color because this is milk and who knows what that is, but it's, uh, whatever it is, we'll get it going. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour, and you can see in my molds, we put down bubble wrap at the bottom, so it kind of gives it a beehive type look on the top of the soap. So what we'll do is we're gonna pour a layer of our honey color, pretty thick layer, in both of these. In fact, I'm going to do a little bit thicker than I have because we're gonna fill these all the way up today. So, got some of that in there. And then what I'm gonna do to try to keep them as separate as we can, we don't have to be perfect about it, but bottom line is I don't want it mixing too much. So I pour down the, the spatula so it just kind of lays on top the next color instead of penetrating into the middle of the last color I poured. So I'm gonna, Pour it that way and you can kind of see where it kind of hangs out on top and that's what we're looking for so we'll do the same over on this one where we can kind of get that color to not kind of mix in but just lay on top of what we've already got poured which I'm making a mess of things but it seems to be working pretty good and I'm left-handed so it's kind of hard for me to 
not be in the camera's way while we're doing this, but I'm going to keep trying. All right, so we've got that color poured, kind of a layer of it, and then we'll take our third color, and we're going to pour that color as well. Uh, I'm trying to stay out of your way there. No, you're fine. Okay. But uh, it's going to lay on top. Um, and probably swirl a bit as well, but we don't mind because it kind of gives it a good kind of gives it a good look when it swirls on its own like that. You are so I can see it. <laughs> they can see it. And then we'll do this one as well. see it kind of it's hanging out on top so that's kind of nice so and that we save a little bit of this for our other molds but lastly what I'll do is I'll finish off with our main color right on top and uh, hopefully that'll do exactly what we want it to be that's not settling too much on top like we wanted because it's not quite thick enough but it's gonna I think give us a great color Sometimes when we make so many soaps, we think, oh my gosh, we've made a mistake, or it didn't turn out the way we planned, and then Steve cuts them all, and then we get to see how, how pretty it is, just because it takes on its own shape and, and uh, design, so they yeah, usually most, turn out better than we think. <laughs> yep, yeah, most every time they'll turn out a lot better than what we think they're going to turn out. <laughs> and then I think what we're going to do is... Set the, settle these a little bit, and I think I'll just dribble a little bit of these colors on top so we have a different color as well. And then we can like mix it a little yeah, bit. Just the top. Done. Yeah, just the top. We'll just take a, a stick and mix the top maybe yeah. a little bit. All right, and see how it turns out. You know, you don't have to be perfect. Monica, she's the creative one. I'm, I'm the one that wants the recipes to be perfect, and she's the one that wants everything to look right. So we kind of complement each other in that regard. But what we'll do is we'll, Monica will take a, a, an item or a stick, and she'll mix that in, you know, when we're off the air so you can see the end result of that, and I'll pour into these other molds while we're off air. See you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right, so you can see that we have poured and did a little design on top, and basically we don't do anything in particular. Um, some of them look kind of messy just because we were at the bottom of each of the containers, and we just make sure it gets in. Um, once it dries, it takes on a really pretty uh, design. So uh, this soap is what oat, oatmeal, honey, honey and oat and milk. honey, oat and milk. There we go. And then we did put some um, eucalyptus lemon essential oils uh, in this batch. So it gives it kind of a cleaner, a clean smell. We've had that in the past where it just kind of helps bring out the smell of the oats and the honey. And so, uh, you know, everybody's liked it in the past. So we thought we would do that again. So what we're going to do is we're going to let these sit probably take them inside tonight because it's been getting a little bit cold uh, cold to us is 40 degrees mm -hmm. but uh, it gets a little cooler um, and so I take it inside and and we'll set it up and uh, cover it up so it dries and in about 24 hours we'll uh, come back and we'll get these cut and see what they look like all right have a great day bye okay so we're back the next day it's been about 26 hours we're a little bit later than normal but anyway we'll pull these uh, honey oat and milk uh, soaps out of the mold and we'll cut them and see what kind of design we got and see if it came out what, how we expected it smells really good so um, and we've got this design on top we'll put bubble wrap on top to kind of give it a, a beehive look because this is actually honey soap so uh, it has honey in it so we wanted to give it that feel of a little bit of the beehive so we put this bubble wrap on this one obviously I did, it's not too, too good, but you can see the design it leaves. 
and we think that's kind of cool. So what we'll do is we'll... Uh, it sounds like we're used to different bubble wraps. Yeah. <laughs> and so what we'll do is we'll cut it open and uh, see what that design looks like. All right, let's get ready to cut the soap board. So let's see how, how pretty it's going to turn out. Beautiful. So we did that kind of a, a layered on top of so it would kind of give us a, a layered look and that's kind of what we got. So we've got the honey, the milk, and the oats all put together in this and that came out beautiful. So we'll let this dry for the next uh, four to six weeks and get that out to you folks. Four to six weeks. Yeah. All right. Thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, like us, check our page out, Central Coast Creations, and uh, follow us, uh, subscribe to our page on YouTube, we're on Facebook, and Instagram as well.